with Jessica Russett from Fig Securities. Jessica, thanks very much for joining us. Now, tell us about the US yields, because they were flat overnight, um, just up slightly. Good afternoon, Helen. Thanks for having me. That's right. We had some weak um, manufacturing data out of the US. It was expected to come in at 7.5 and it came in at negative 1. So it's significantly lower. And on the back of that, you'd usually expect to see the yields move lower. But as a matter of fact, they actually were unchanged or higher. So we had the two-year unchanged at 1.3% and that 10-year was a basis point higher at 2.34%. So why did that happen unusually, you say? Yeah, it is quite unusual. Um, I think the, the main cause of that was actually from a bit of issuance coming out uh, last night. There was actually 13.5 billion US dollars worth of issuance across 10 different names. And so I think that supply um, hitting the market just moved um, those yields slightly higher or unchanged. All right. Now, what about uh, the Aussie government bond yields? They also were a bit flat, were they? That's right, Helen. They were relatively unchanged. Uh, they were a basis point higher this morning, uh, pre the RBA minutes. And then after those RBA minutes came out, we had them a basis point each lower. So we had the five year at 2.09% and that 10 years just hovering around 2.58% at the moment. All right. So why did the minutes change the view? They were, there were no major surprises in there, although they were dovish in tone. Uh, there were concerns uh, on wage growth and also inflation that they, they spoke about in there. And so I think that just has put um, expectations that will have bond yields lower for longer. Yeah, although they are still, you know, they're a bit concerned about the low wage growth and also the unemployment numbers. That's right, Helen. We, we have those uh, that data due out this week as well. Tomorrow we have wage growth and that's expected to come in at 0.5 and that's an annual rate of 1.9%, so no change there. And uh, also with the unemployment number on Thursday, that's supposed to remain at 5.9%. So uh, there is still this underutilisation in, in the labour market at the moment. Yeah, so Jessica, just back to the US situation, what's the, uh, what is the bond market telling us about this possibility of a June Fed rate hike? It seems to be saying that the expectation is actually cooling a bit there. It's eased the, the probability to 67% and that expectation was supposed to be 75%. Uh, that came in with the weak data on Friday night. And so we, we also saw PIMCO last night, an analyst from PIMCO uh, readjusted their core inflation expectations to 2%, down from 2.3% for year end. And so we're, we're really questioning if the Fed will go ahead with this Fed hike come June because we're just not seeing the, the growth and the inflation coming through in the data that's really necessary to justify it. Yeah, but it's interesting because the Fed has been pretty bullish itself and they don't seem to have been swayed by recent, perhaps slightly weaker data. So have there been any real clues from the Fed itself? You're right there, Helen. In fact, most of the Fed speakers that we have heard from lately have actually come out in support of continuing with those rate hikes on trend with a two and expected three uh, for this year. So it, it does seem to be there. The Fed is saying one thing and we're seeing the markets pricing in something completely different. So it will be interesting to see what comes June uh, if they actually do go ahead with it. Yeah, so it's interesting. Sorry, you say PIMCO. What was the reasoning behind their view? It was um, also the weak CPI that, that had come in and, and that just that the data at the moment coming out of the US has been uh, quite weak. They also questioned uh, if the Fed would hike in June, just saying that it certainly would put pressure on them um, if they were to go ahead because the market's really not seeing that at the moment. All right, now in Australia, the wage price index on Wednesday, what are you expecting the impact on bonds to be? I think if it comes in in line with expectations, which is 0.5, I, I think yields will remain low. We might see a little bit, um, a one or two basis point lower. Um, if they came in any higher, I, I think we certainly would see those yields move slightly higher. So I think it, it does depend what does what does eventuate but even if it does come in line with their expectations which are quite muted, they're quite benign, I think we will still see yields move slightly lower. Jessica Russett from Fig Securities, thank you. Thanks, Helen. Looking over.